Let's meet the two candidates seeking election to the district judge position, 148th District Court. Mr. Guy Williams, Mr. August Augustine Rivera. Um, gentlemen, please come forward, take your seats. Done that. Check. Done. Uh, thanks. Now, for Mr. Rivera, we would like to uh, welcome your opening statement, please. Thank you. Uh, good evening, everybody. First of all, I want to thank the League, the Hispanic Women's Network, and leadership alumni for giving us the opportunity to come here tonight. I only have two minutes, so I'm going to speak as fast as I can, but I did want to acknowledge uh, uh, everyone for putting this together. Uh, it, I wish we had more of these forums because this is democracy at work and you get to hear from us and ask us questions regarding our positions and why we think we're the best qualified. Uh, my name is Augie Rivera and I'm running as a Democrat for the 148th District Court. I've been a lawyer here in Corpus Christi for over 27 years uh, and I need to say this right up front. Uh, I'm challenging an incumbent and when I was encouraged to run over a year ago, it was not a decision that I made lightly. I, didn't, I don't like pol politicking uh, the court. I don't like politicizing uh, the courts. And I didn't want to make it a simple Democrat versus Republican. I did my homework. I looked at it. And I discovered that there's a case to be made for why there needs to be a change in the 148th District Court. The bottom line is that the 148th for the last three and a half years has been suffering from a severe case of congestion, case congestion, both in civil and criminal cases. Uh, and let me tell you what congestion means to you. First of all, it means a delay in getting your cases processed and resolved, both on the civil side and the criminal side. Uh, and in the criminal, in, in the criminal cases in particular, it means that it's costing the taxpayers money, because for every delayed criminal case where there's a defendant that's being housed in the Noises County Jail, you, the taxpayers, are having to pay uh, uh, for the housing of that defendant. Now, my opponent has said that, uh, has said publicly or claimed that uh, he has cleared more criminal cases than anyone else. Well, that's not telling you the full story. What you have to look at is the fact that uh, the 148th to this day, as we speak, uh, uh, numbers I obtained from the Noises County Courts and from the clerk's <coughs> office show that it's got the most civil cases, most criminal cases, and, and that needs to be fixed. Uh, I'm qualified, and I will Mr. tell Rivera, you why in a second. Time's up. Thank you. Mr. Williams. Uh, thank you, and thank you for having me. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Guy Williams. I am proud and honored to be your judge in the 148th uh, Judicial District Court. Uh, I'd like to talk in just uh, about a minute here about my qualifications and my background. I'm a United States Marine, a Vietnam veteran with a Purple Heart. Uh, while I was in the Marine Corps, I uh, earned back-to-back -back meritorious promotions for outstanding performance. I uh, went to college after that. I uh, graduated uh, with high honors from Texas, uh, what is now Texas A&M uh, Corpus Christi. Um, I uh, then uh, went to work for the Naval Criminal Investigative Service, otherwise known as NCIS, as a special agent. I graduated honor agent uh, from the NCIS special agent uh, basic school. Uh, I was promoted uh, to assistant special agent in charge uh, within three years. Uh, when I was uh, 35 years old, I started law school. I graduated law school when I was 38 um, while working full time. I worked my way through high school, college, and law school. Uh, as a uh, trial lawyer, I, I, after law school, I practiced 22 years before I got this job as a criminal trial lawyer. This is a uh, criminal uh, trial court. 95% uh, of the trials I have in this court are criminal trials. Uh, my opponent uh, has no criminal experience whatsoever. Uh, I don't even know why he's applying for this court. Uh, I have closed the most criminal cases. Uh, I have uh, closed over 5,000 criminal and civil cases. I have saved the county $285,000 out of my budget uh, in these four years because of my uh, management of the court's budget. Um, I am the least overturned judge in Oasis County, which means I make the right decisions. I haven't spent any of your money on attorney's fees because of any bad decisions I've made. Whereas if my opponent uh, gets this job, uh, it's going to cost you a lot of money in attorney's fees fixing his bad decisions because he knows nothing about Time's criminal up, law. Mr. Williams. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Mr. Williams, we have two questions that are similar, so people really want to know. Um, you claim that you saved the county about $200,000 a year. Can you name and tell us how and where you saved the county $200,000 a year 
which would be about $750,000 since you have been in office. No, that's not what I said. I said in the four years uh, that I've been on the bench, and I just talked to the county auditor, uh, I've saved approximately 71 point something thousand dollars a year out of my budget. That means uh, by the end of my four year term, I will have saved the county, uh, Nueces County taxpayers, $285,000 out of my course budget. And here's how I do that. First of all, I do my own work. I don't pay for visiting judges. We have a visiting judge budget. budget. Uh, I, I take very little vacation time. I work uh, um, uh, six days a week. Uh, I work more than 40 hours a week. Uh, I'm one of the hardest uh, workers uh, on the bench. I'm one of the first pe uh, persons there. I'm one of the last people to leave. Uh, so I watch my numbers, uh, and so I'm real good about saving the county money. And uh, I am uh, close uh, more cases because I uh, show up and I, I have a criminal trial every week in my court. Thank you. Thank you. This question will be for both candidates. We'll start with you, Mr. Rivera. Um, what should the role of the judge be in the community? Hmm. Uh, well, first of all, to get the job done at the courthouse. That's why we elect judges, first and foremost, to take care of the business of the court and to not let it get congested. Uh, to where you have to go clean things up. That's the first job of the judge. Uh, secondly, I think a judge really ought to be a leader, and I've written about this before. Uh, when I was a young bar president back in 1997 and 98, I wrote about how respecting judges was both the shared responsibility between the judges on the court, but also the lawyers. I in, my, in my opinion, I think the judges ought to lead by example. You run your court as ethically and as professionally as possible. You treat everybody that comes before you with respect and dignity, uh, and, 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 and I think that ought to flow over into the community as well. I think people ought to be able to look at the court and look at the judge and know, number one, that they're getting the job done, and number two, that, they, that, they, uh, that their integrity uh, is beyond question. Thank you, Mr. Rivera. Mr. Williams, same question. What should the role of a judge be in the community? Oh, thank you. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, uh, since I've been on the bench, and actually at, uh, for about 10 years now, uh, I have been supporting this community. Uh, one of the things that I do like to support is uh, at-risk uh, students. Uh, as a, a troubled youth, I came from a broken home, uh, from an abusive uh, home, uh, and uh, I was uh, expelled from three high schools uh, for fighting. Uh, and uh, I turned my life around. Uh, I went in the Marine Corps. Uh, I support the... Uh, uh, local organizations. I've tried to give all the money I can to uh, academic scholarships for these students that uh, need help. Uh, <clears throat> I support uh, all the local community uh, organizations uh, regarding um, fundraising as far as uh, at-risk uh, youth. Uh, I was on the leadership uh, committee for senior services uh, for a couple of years. Uh, I also have a uh, catch and rela release program for uh, my neighborhood cats where I, I catch them and um, um, Get them fixed and bring them back to the neighborhood. Time's up, Mr. Williams. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this will be the last question. Um, should the voters listen to the attorneys? The judicial bar pool shows attorneys which... Yes. <laughs> well, we're going to go with another question. Oh. Can you please tell us about the awards that you've received that recognizes your achievement as a lawyer? It'll be for both. Okay. Mr. Rivera? Mr. Rivera? Sure. Um, well, first of all, in answer to the previous question, yes, absolutely. Uh, I'm proud of the fact that my peers, uh, and that's lawyers from across the board, both family law lawyers, or, or I mean, family law lawyers, criminal defense lawyers, prosecutors, civil trial lawyers, uh, all voted overwhelmingly by 64% in the recent bar poll. Uh, they voted for me, not only as a qualified candidate, but as the best qualified candidate for this, for this position. Um, now, and I'm sorry, your question was, the second question? Can you please tell us what awards sure. you have received that recognizes your achievement as a lawyer? I have, uh, I've always considered it my duty as a lawyer not only to do the best job possible for my client, and that's being in courtrooms all around the state of Texas, in state and federal court, at the Court of Appeals, even before the Texas Supreme Court. Uh, but I've also considered it my duty to, to give back to the profession. 
I was uh, elected a bar president in 1997-98. I was voted the most outstanding young lawyer of the year. Time's up, Mr. Vivian. And in 2008, I got the Judge Mr. Paul Williams, Nye. Mr. Williams, same question. Can you please tell us what okay. awards you have received that recognizes your achievement as a lawyer? All right, well, thank you very much. And again, I would like to also address, uh, as my opponent did, the, the fact that my uh, opponent did receive, and I want to congratulate him, he did receive the uh, uh, endorsement from the uh, personal injury lawyers, and so I congratulate him for that. Uh, him and his personal injury lawyers are trying to buy this bench back. Uh, <coughs> I object. <laughs> so um, um, eight, there's 8,000 lawyers in Nueces County, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Out of the 8,000 lawyers in Nueces County, 222 voted in this election. And the 222 that voted are not criminal trial lawyers, uh, they're personal injury lawyers. And so I congratulate my opponent for getting the personal injury lawyer endorsement. Um, now, as far as my work as a lawyer, um, again, my, lo uh, my opponent cannot touch my experience. That's 22 years, uh, I've tried over 200 criminal trials. My opponent has tried none. I have uh, tried uh, criminal trials in uh, state court, district court, uh, federal court, and uh, uh, county court. Uh, thank you. Your time's up. We'd like to welcome both of your closing statements. Let's start with you, Mr. Rivera. You have one minute. Thank you. I'm going to object to the last response as non-responsive, Judge, but uh, let me go ahead and finish up. Let me go ahead. <laughs> for now, for now. Uh, listen, uh, what I was going to finish in terms of my qualifications was that in 2008, I'm very proud of the fact that the local bar, not just the personal injury lawyers, and, and that's, that's, an, that's a horrible misstatement. There's no way you can know who voted in that bar. It's, it's, it's done confidentially, just like you will be voting at the, at the courthouse uh, or anywhere else that you vote. And so there's no way to tell who voted. I, I can tell you, look at my campaign finance report and see who's supporting me versus who's supporting my opponent, and you will see that I have broad support across the bar. I've left these outside. Please take a look at them. It's got my Facebook page, website, where you can see more qualifications because it's just not enough time to tell you here why I think you should trust me to be the next judge. I'll leave you with this. I sit on the Texas Board of Law Examiners. I'm one of the nine judges and um, nine lawyers in the state responsible for putting together the bar exam. Time's I was up. appointed Thank by the Rivera. Texas Supreme Mr. Court. Mr. Williams, we'd Thank like you. to suggest that. We'd like to open up the floor for <laughs> Mr. Right. Williams, your closing statement, please. You have one minute. Thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, my uh, opponent uh, has not talked about his experience because he doesn't have any experience for this court. Now, if you were applying for a job and you were applying for a job for a district criminal court with a heavy criminal backlog, or not backlog, but heavy criminal docket. And by the way, this court does not have a backlog. Unlike my opponent, he keeps referring to a backlog. When, when my uh, the previous judge left this court. She left me with the highest count of all district courts. I had the highest number of uh, criminal and civil cases when my uh, previous pr predecessor left this court. And as a consequence, I have closed more criminal cases than any other judge. I have closed over 5,000 criminal and civil cases. I am the least overturned court which means I save you money by making the right decisions. My opponent does not know criminal law. He'll never be able to handle this job. I appreciate your vote and I'm asking for your vote. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, gentlemen.